My name is Mike Blue. I'm the CEO of Histosonics, and we are developing an entirely new platform in cancer care, robotically assisted sonic therapy, the foundation of which is Histotripsy, which was discovered at the University of Michigan, and is the foundation of this new platform, and we own the exclusive worldwide license to. This is the problem. Four out of 10 of us in this room will develop cancer at some points in our lives. That's horrible. And cancer does not discriminate. Here's the bigger problem. We've made a lot of progress in some of the cancers like breast and prostate, but others are still dismal. Liver, pancreatic, lung, brain cancers. The five-year survival rates are all less than 20%. Some of our early targets, like liver and pancreas, other cancers in the abdomen, much lower than 20%. In, in, in pancreatic cancer, as an example, it's 8%. The standard of care is invasive, it's painful, it's disruptive to quality of life, and it's expensive. And unfortunately, more than 80% of patients with liver cancer and pancreatic cancers, as examples, are non-surgical candidates to begin with. And here's where we have the conflict. I've heard a lot of discussion today about the, the need to reduce cost across, across global healthcare systems. It's not happening in cancer. The, the uh, burden continues to surge in cancer. It'll more than double by the year 2030. It's the biggest economic impact of any cause of death in the world. Specifically, when it comes to medical devices, the standards of care, those platforms have limitations. We all know that surgery is invasive, it's expensive, more and more patients are refusing it, and unfortunately, as I mentioned, uh, over 80% of patients in, in, most, in the most significant cancers are non-surgical candidates. Ablation has its limitations, it's inconsistent, variable, high recurrence rates, it's the reason it's not more widely adopted. And radiation therapy, we, we all know about, unfortunately, uh, there's collateral damage that exists with radiation therapy and, and a significant disruption to, to quality of life, as, as well as very expensive. Our vision, we have the opportunity to help in each one of these categories through a non-invasive, robotically assisted new platform that's more effective, we can treat more patients who will recover quickly, and we can do it at a more affordable cost that's done today. We'll do this by improving surgery. We have the opportunity to have standalone ro robotics as well as robotics that get integrated with platforms that exist in hospitals today. They can work in concert or independently of each other. We can improve ablation through histotripsy, this new ablation modality. And radiation therapy is beam therapy, which is great. It's non-invasive, but it's toxic, and it requires multiple procedures at a high cost. We can improve on all of this. This is our vision. And these are very kind pictures to the left. Our, our vision is to do surgery, to treat cancer, destroy cancer without incision or punctures. And we have a unique opportunity to impact all the key stakeholders, certainly through patients, improving outcomes and quality of life, but through providers and payers as well, we have the opportunity to provide a, a, a much lower cost alternative to treating cancer. And this is the sol solution, robotically assisted sonic therapy that uses histotripsy, which I'll describe next, with advanced robotics and visualization, onboard visualization technology in the form of ultrasound. So histotripsy is the use of sound energy that gets focused into tissue at extremely high amplitude, very short microsecond pulses. These pulses extract the microbubbles that naturally exist within your tissue. They expand and contract, and it's that contraction that crushes the tissue, completely destroying it. And we are capable of sub-millimeter sub precision. Those are the deadly bubbles. This is a, 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 a pretty uneventful picture. If you're a pathologist, this is this is a histology slide. This was hepatocellular carcinoma, a primary liver cancer that was implanted into an animal. And this shows complete acellular destruction. There's nothing viable left. We've seen this in kidney cancer, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, and even primary brain cancer, glioblastoma. 
and will provide this in an easy to use robotic system that provides for real time visualization. So a physician can target in real time, can plan and contour a treatment to any shape or size, and then watch as the treatment happens, all under 30 minutes. So here, here are the real advantages. The, the image on the left is an ablation that is, as Dr. Fred Lee calls it, near perfect. That's being modest. That's a perfect ablation with clearly demarcated boundaries. No punctures, no incisions, right in the center of a, a liver. The center in the image is, is a bubble cloud that's moving uh, to create the letter M. That was actually done through a human skull just to demonstrate the precision ability and capabilities that we have with this system. And then on the right, this histology shows treated tissue in the bottom left, untreated tissue in the, in, in the top right. Again, in the bottom left, nothing recognizable, totally acellular. But what's more impress, impress, impressive is that this shows cells that have been cut in half. As physicians would tell you, you can't even accomplish that with a scalpel. One of the most amazing things about histotripsy, because you're not burning or radiating, the tissue gets rapidly absorbed. So within two months, you could have complete healing of the treated area. And imagine the impact to reducing the number of CT scans required post-procedure and the, the anxiety that that would reduce in a patient knowing that just after two months, the treatment area is healed versus today, it could be over uh, longer than a year. The markets we're going after are big. The medical device market is 54 billion dollars. We certainly won't achieve all of this. However, not only can we take from all of these areas, we can also add to these areas by treating patients who otherwise can't be treated today. And the, the markets in terms of organ and disease are large as well. 70% of uncontrolled cancers metastasize to the liver. This is a true platform technology. We have proof of concept um, in liver, kidney, pancreas, thyroid. We're about to develop it in lung. We even have it in brain. This is the business model opportunity. This is one that I'm familiar with for the last 20 years. It starts with a system that we place in a hospital. Our robotic systems will cost between a half a million and a million, depending on where they get installed and, and how they get installed. And then the ecosystem that surrounds that. There will be a disposable, the opportunity to sell additional transducers, service, warranties. It's very profitable. Here's just an example within the, the US, uh, within the US, just installing systems into half the hospitals in the United States is a three billion opportunity. My time has run out, so I'm trying to fly through these slides. Um, we own Histotripsy. We own the exclusive worldwide license and a significant portfolio. We've got plenty of time on, on the IP, and we're actually creating new IP every quarter of every year. Our two-year milestones, we're currently raising our Series C, which will fund the completion of the next generation uh, product up through six to nine months of commercialization and obviously all regulatory approvals in the US and Europe to accomplish those goals. And then I'll end where it starts with the team. Uh, I feel very fortunate that we've pulled in members of t past teams that I've worked with. Dr. Fred Lee, who's our senior medical advisor. He was the co-founder of New Wave Medical, where I was last, acquired by Johnson & Johnson in 2016. Josh Stopek is our new VP of R&D. Josh, Josh was with me at Super Dimension, which is a company acquired by Covidian in 2014. And the goal is to continue to add to the team in 2018 with additional funding. Thank you.